Welcome back, Bears. I'm Tori. And I'm Audie, reporting from the BTV studio. Way to go, Spartan Bears, in taking first place and second place at the District JROTC Fitness Competition. Your physical fitness workouts have paid off. A big shout out to lead fitness instructor, Senior Master Sergeant Jaime Williams and Roderick Walker. A big shout out to our track teams who did great last Thursday at the Southside Invitational Meet. Our Varsity Bears and Varsity Lady Bears placed first overall. Senior Christian Corral won the 800 meter and 400 meter dashes and he anchored the 600 meter relay for a first place finish. Senior Adonis Muñiz Perez won the 300 meter hurdles and he anchored the 1600 meter relay to finish first. Other Bears who helped the team place first included Senior Raven Payne who won the long jump, finished third in the 200 meter dash and is the second leg on the 4 by 200 meter relay, also finishing first. Senior Rayleigh Grimmett ran the first leg on the 4x100 meter relay and the 4x200 meter relay, finishing first, and she also won the 200 meter dash. Great job, Bears. Good luck on the Harlandale track meet. It is that time of year again. Prom tickets are on sale for $75. However, seniors, if you owe any fines for books, money for fundraisers, or for athletics, please take care of this or you will not be able to buy prom tickets. Seniors, Randolph's, Randolph Spouses and Club on Randolph Air Force Base wants to make you aware of their scholarship for graduating high school, seniors in Bear County. If interested, go see Ms. Signs in the Career Center. You can also ask Ms. Signs about the 2019 Bobby Romano Scholarship sponsored by the Monroe May PTA. It's for $1,000 towards tuition, fees, books, payable to the institution of your choice. The deadline for applications will be April 1st. The varsity and JV tennis teams need your support as they approach district tournaments in April. You can help them by buying their spring shirt, a long sleeve white dry fit for 15. For more information, see Coach Johnson in C234 <laughs> as soon as possible. Our Special Olympians competed Friday and had a great turnout to their pep rally. Here are a few highlights of Friday's competition. It's not too early to think about due dates for library books. Library Harry Austin wants to remind seniors their books are due by May 10th. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, yours are due by Friday, May 17th. And teachers, turn yours in by Friday, June 7th. Finally, Dr. Trimble and the administrative staff want to invite everyone to the 2019 Simply the Best Educators of the Year Awards today at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Come support um, our Teacher of the Year, Ms. Dora Salazar, and First Teacher of the Year, Ms. Catherine Blair. Take a look at some highlights of our teachers. What are the parent plans going to look like? They can be tall or short. Who knows? They have a dominant allele, Michaela. They're both going to be tall. So both of the parent plans are 
Paul. So how do you feel about winning the Teacher of the Year Award? I feel wonderful. I'm excited. I cried when I got it, um, but I feel very excited about it. Um, I connect with my students as if they were a part of my family. Once I get to meet my students, I get to meet their parents, and I also make that connection as I'm in charge of them while they're here. Mm -hmm. So I look out for them, I advocate for them, I help them to accomplish and make great strides here. Well, I come in very early and I stay very late and I try to do my best to get my students to pass every six weeks, to get every assignment in that they can and do the best that they can to accomplish their goals. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, this is all we have for today and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you miss any part of this podcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. We also have a link on the radio, so have a great day, Bears. Woo, bye! <laughs> BTV, 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 BTV.